Hey everyone, I'm gonna do the recap for this week and what the combo focused on was a variety of chess rolls like we've been doing all for the month of February. So I'm going to do the combo for you once from the front and once from the back and then we'll break things down nice and easy. We went over a variety of ways to start it depending on the level that you're at. You can start your roll in front of you and just practice rolling on the one finger. When I feel more comfortable spinning the hoop around one finger, I can then practice bringing it out a little bit more to the side. The transfer from the finger spin onto the palm is something that you might need to work on. So it's okay to just work on that one part. You're basically spinning the hoop around your finger and when it is on the upward spin, you're going to flip your hand upwards. So your palm is gonna be facing upwards. Doesn't matter if the hoop rolls across your chest, we're just gonna practice that little palm transfer. If I'm doing a finger spin on its upwards rotation, I'm just going to rotate my palm upwards as the hoop comes up and rolls off of my index finger. Really, you're gonna just be using your index finger to pass it to your palm. Once you start to feel comfortable with that, you can then start to think of extending that arm into a nice roll position. So on that up, upward angle, we're then going to push our arm underneath the hoop as we show our palm to the sky. I would like you to practice that over and over again. Don't worry so much about what's happening here and then you can start to troubleshoot your chest roll and you know figure out why it's falling off the front. We talked about a variety of things that might help you clean up your chest roll um, during this entire month. Um, one of them was making sure your shoulders are back, your chest is proud, um, things like rotating your forearms up towards the sky a little bit more rather than having them forward uh, for palm up chest rolls. With any kind of chest roll, it's important to watch the hoop as much as you can. I'm going to look at it on this side. I'm going to watch it go all the way across. There are a variety of things that we talked about, but those are just a couple. So I'm coming out of the finger roll. I'm going to pass, extend, watching the hoop go all the way across. After we do that first roll, we're gonna end up palm facing up in our left hand. This is where we're just gonna use our index finger to send it backwards. If you have a little bit of height, that could help you. Um, it doesn't matter um, where your arm is really. You can do this chest roll from any height, but definitely gravity is gonna be your friend <laughs> a little bit more um, if you're a little bit higher up. Uh, just work on the left, uh, and the right palm facing up chest rolls because it's really fun to go back and forth sometimes with those chest rolls. Once we send this one back to our right side, we're then going to let the hoop fall the way that it wants to. A chest roll is always going away from you. So we're just going to let it fall down and as we swing under, we're going to flip our grip just like that. A little bit closer up now. Our hoop is going to be here, we're going to let it fall, swing, and we're going to flip our grip. If we do this move a little lower down, it is a little easier. We capture the hoop, palm facing up, let it fall down, swing, and as we're swinging behind our back, we're flipping our grip. So the chest roll is coming down the arm like so, we're going to grab it palm facing up, and then we're gonna let the hoop swing back, rotate once, swing behind our back, and this is where the grip change happens, right there, so that we can pop into a pendulum swing start chest roll. 
Before we start to go into pendulum swing chess rolls, um, we did cover this uh, one in a previous week where we were playing with a half roll and letting it fall off the outside of our arm. But this week we want it to come in towards our face. Ah, what you're want, gonna wanna do here is get this little chompy chompy guy ready to grab the hoop because the chest roll that we're gonna do is a half chest roll with a grab right near the uh, collarbone. In class, I was saying, imagine your left hand is saying blah, 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 blah to your right shoulder. That's the, the position that you would like to have. We're gonna, gonna pop into our pendulum swing chest roll, remembering that it's important to make contact with this space in between our thumb and index finger. So we don't wanna toss it, we want to roll it. Even imagine pushing underneath it, just like we were doing with the other roll. So I've got my blah, blah, blah hand ready, go into my pendulum swing, and I'm gonna lift ever so gently as I open my hand. I'm gonna keep this hand nice and extended and straight, and then I'm just going to tip the hoop downwards and release. That one was pretty easy. Everybody pretty much got that one. So that's a pretty satisfying one, in my opinion. After we send the hoop back down to our right hand, palm facing up, we're just going to, again, let the hoop swing behind us. We're almost just going to imagine doing a half weave so that we can bring it out into front, the front of us. So now it's in a ball plane. Again, letting the hoop fall and bringing it out front. The last move that we're going to go into is this move here. It's just a way to finish and pose at the end of the combo if you would like to. So the momentum is going across the body and then towards the left shoulder. A lot of the times people want to go swing all the way up here, but really you want to not go too much higher than your shoulder before you let it fall behind you. And I use the term fall, but really what we're doing is rolling the hoop behind us. So the hoop is going this way. I'm doing a thumbs up or touching my thumb or pointing my thumb towards my left shoulder and the hoop is going to fall back behind me but in a rolling motion, not in a flopping motion, a rolling motion. So it's more like a barrel roll or a isolation type move. Here's what it looks like from the back. keeping it nice and close to my head. Here's what it looks like from the side. Notice how I'm trying to keep that hoop nice and straight rather than this. So let just let it drop just like you were doing a barrel roll. So let me do the combo one last time all together, nice and slow, explaining it as we go along. Got a rolling start for me, and then I'm gonna push my palm underneath as I extend that arm, catching it in my palm facing up in the left hand, I'm gonna use my index finger to send it back. So I'm gonna come back and open my chest. As it's rotating back down to my right arm, I'm gonna think about allowing the hoop to spin behind me, pendulum swing behind me, grips switch behind me, and then I'm gonna pop up into that little half roll pendulum swing style letting it roll nicely over between the thumb and index finger, capturing it with my blah, blah, blah hand pointed at my left shoulder. Then I'm just going to tip my right arm down and release the hoop towards my palm facing up. The hoop is gonna be rotating that way still, so we're going to let it fall that way, but we're going to do a little half weave to bring it out in front of us, going across the body, letting the hoop rotate behind us as we kind of do a little quarter barrel roll. I hope that was helpful for you and I hope you continue to practice your chest rolls well into every other month of the year because it's definitely something you want to continuously practice. Also know that chest rolls are never going to be perfect. You can get them pretty close but they're never going to be perfect. So please just keep chest rolling. Chest roll everything in your house if you want. I mean you might want to be a little bit safe about it, but um, I, with that, I say goodbye and I will see you next week. Thanks again for coming.